But even while riding high as an R&B star, Shirley never lost connection with her church upbringing in more ways than one. For the church world, I was the Asri Lay girl. For the secular world, I'm just a church girl. You know, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do nothing. I'm boring. <laughs> she never completely abandoned her gospel roots uh, during the, the secular years. I'm thinking of Instrument of Praise or the song Tribute. You know, she would always wrap each of those albums up with a, a gospel or inspirational type of song. So I figured that if people are going to listen to my songs, I need to say something, something of value. I want them to walk away feeling uplifted. But while Shirley's songs were uplifting, her record sales were moving in a different direction. After In Your Eyes, the Let There Be Love album failed to deliver any more hits, creating friction with her label. Hip hop's becoming a global phenomenon. R&B is not the sound that everybody's turning to. As a result, surely uh, her album sales were falling off a little bit. Electra had, uh, they had other hit records out. There is no back burner. You got one burner, and either you're on it or you're not. <laughs> Shirley Murdoch's days as an R&B hit maker were coming to an end. 